Watch out ma'am. The queen looks a little unsteady as she grapples with the flagpole while presenting a new standard to the Royal Scots Dragoon Guards. The queen's busy working week in Scotland continues just days she made the rare decision to pull out of an engagement due to feeling under the weather with a cold. Her Majesty, 92, was at Lucar's station in Fife today to present a new standard to the Royal Scots Dragoon Guards as Colonel-in-Chief of the regiment. At first it appeared that the monarch was in danger of a mishap as she stepped forward to touch the new standard on its flagpole, but it soon became clear that there wasn't in any danger. Following a parade by veterans, the Queen viewed equipment and vehicles and met families at the base. The monarch was elegant as usual in a pale blue coat, teamed with a matching hat for the occasion. It's been a busy week for the Queen who is carrying out engagements in Scotland after cancelling a planned appearance at a church service at St. Paul's Cathedral last Thursday because she was suffering from a summer cold. The Queen was formally welcomed to Edinburgh on Monday, at the ceremony of the Keys event in Edinburgh an ancient tradition which sees Her Majesty offer the keys to Edinburgh under a military guard of honour. The event marks the start of Holy Rood Week, known in Scotland as Royal Week, during which the Queen visits various regions in Scotland. Clearly feeling herself again the monarch was all smiles as she honoured the squadron with the freedom of the city of Edinburgh, at the Palace of Holy Rood House. The freedom of the city of Edinburgh is bestowed upon those who are held in the highest esteem by the citizens. It is a tradition that dates back over 500 years to 1459. The honor was bestowed upon the squadron by the city in the same year as Rof 100, a year of events to commemorate the Air Force's achievements since its creation. Over the course of the week, She's been meeting subjects across all walks of life and was set to host thousands of guests at Holyrood Palace. Yesterday, she welcomed guests to her annual summer garden party in Edinburgh, attended by her sons Princes Andrew and Edward, following a meeting with First Minister Nicola Sturgeon. Her grandson the Duke of Cambridge is also in Scotland this week for a number of engagements. Today will be nearby handing out awards at the Royal Society of Edinburgh and will also be admitted as an honorary fellow of educational charity. He will also attend a service at the Scottish National War Memorial at Edinburgh Castle, before joining a reception to mark 70 years of the NHS.